is Pika OS, the Linux distribution that delivers one of the best out of the box gaming experiences for Linux users. It comes with desktop environments like GNOME and KDE, and even window managers like Niri and Hyperland with the Noctalia shell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Pika OS from scratch. For demonstration, I will be installing Pika OS on my laptop running latest Windows 11 operating system. I have allocated a dedicated and empty drive for this purpose. There, I will be installing Pika OS. Now, this setup will result in a dual boot configuration with both operating systems running from separate drives. Now, with that being said, let's get started with the Pika OS installation process. Now, first, head over to the Pika OS website and download the ISO with your favorite desktop environment. In my case, I'm choosing the Hyperland Edition, which comes with the Noctalia shell. If you have a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card, for example, GTX 1650 or higher, you can download NVIDIA ISO image. If you have an older graphic card, go with standard ISO image instead. Next, connect your USB stick to your computer. Now make sure it has at least 8 GB of storage. You can use a char to flash the ISO image on the USB drive. Once the flashing process is complete, restart your system and boot into BIOS settings using the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly it could be F2, F9 or the escape key. In my case, my computer has booted into the startup menu and I'm going to press F10 to access the BIOS setup. In the UV BIOS, turn on USB boot and disable secure boot. Then change the boot order and set the USB drive as the primary option. Once it's done, save the changes. Now your system will boot into Pika OS from the USB drive. If it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load install media. Before installing Pika OS, make sure your computer is connected to the internet. Then go ahead and click Install Distribution to the system. Select your system language and agree to the terms of use. Next, select your keyboard layout and time zone. Then select Automatic Partitioning and pick the drive where you want to install Pika OS. In my case, I'm selecting my 120 GB SSD. After that, open Advanced Options. Here, you can change the file system if needed. Under the Boot section, enable this special boot option if you're installing Pika OS on MSI laptops. Once everything looks good, click Next. Then choose Confirm and install Pika OS. When the installation is finished, shut down the system. Remove the USB drive and power on your system. You will see the Refined Boot Manager, which lets you switch between operating systems. Now simply select Pika OS and press Enter to boot into it. Once you are inside Pika OS, go ahead and connect to Wi Fi. Next, create your user account and update Pika OS.
After the update, you will be given the option to modify the graphics drivers, now change them if needed, or simply skip this step. Then select Install Gaming Meta Package. Now this is essential for playing as it installs Steam and other compatibility tools. Once the process is finished, reboot the system. Now at the Login Manager, choose the Herbaland Compositor and login with your username and password. And that's it, we have successfully installed Pika OS. The first step you should do after setting up Pika OS is to configure the monitor. If you are using a laptop or external monitor, you may notice the UI is scaled to 200%. You can fix this by adding a simple statement to the monitor's config file. Open terminal by pressing super plus enter and edit this file using any text editor. This last argument controls the scaling of your desktop. If it's set to auto, it will scale automatically. If it's set to one, it will downscale the UI and fit properly. Once you have made the changes, press Ctrl plus O and press Enter to save them. Now by clicking your mouse on the top right corner of the screen, you can open the control center. The control center is divided into different sections. It includes a dedicated media player that allows you to control audio playback, lets you view live weather information and provides quick shortcuts to access settings, power options and much more. On the top bar, you will also find controls for brightness, sound, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and you can check your notifications from there. Now let's open settings. To do so, open Control Center again and click the Settings gear icon. Using System Settings, you can customize the top bar, time, and weather to match your preferences. The Pika OS also includes a built in screen recorder. You can further customize it from here. In the wallpaper section, you can choose any wallpaper from the default collection and set it as your background. Overall, this is a simple and easy to use settings panel that offers all the basic customization options. Now by pressing super plus D opens the app launcher, which displays all your installed applications and allows you to search for any app instantly. Now this is the quickest and easiest way to launch programs on your system. Now inside the launcher, you will find all the gaming related applications such as Steam, Heroic Launcher, Lutris and much more. Now simply open Steam and enjoy playing Windows games with ease. Now as you can see, in my case, the Nvidia drivers are installed correctly which means I can take full advantage of them for running AI models and other GPU intensive tasks. Since Pika OS is Debian based, you can use apt to install packages. However, instead of apt, you can use pikmin, which is much faster and highly recommended. The best part is that you don't need to use sudo with pikmin, simply type pikmin, install and the package name, 
For example, let's install FastFetch, HTOP, and a few other packages. Then press Enter. And that's it, super simple and very easy to use. It's time to edit the hyperlinked key bindings configuration file. Open terminal by pressing super plus enter and navigate to the default key binding config file. Now let's add custom key bindings for any application you want. Now in this example, we will add a shortcut to open the Chrome web browser. We will assign super plus b as the key bind. Now once you have added the new key binding, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O, then press Enter and exit the editor with Ctrl plus X. Now by pressing Super plus B, we'll instantly launch the Chrome browser. Overall, Pika OS with the Noctalia shell provides a clean and clutter-free hyperlinked experience. You can use it for gaming without any issues. And that's all for this video on installing and customizing Pika OS. Let me know what do you think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.